What I have here is a Geiger counter, and every click means that it's detecting radiation. Specifically an ionizing event. The clicks now aren't very scary though, because it's normal <laughs> for there to be a small amount of background radiation. What isn't normal is this little box. <laughs> Whatever's That's in here in there. is extremely radioactive, and it's worse than when I tested nearly pure uranium. So in the grand scheme of things, uranium's not as, as radioactive as other things. But anyway, now to open it up. Inside, it doesn't actually look very scary, and it's just that? some small pieces of metal in an old plastic container. Now to open this container and see what it is. I'm glad he's using gloves. And it's just a bunch of old watch dials. Oh, radium watch dials. Yeah, radium is roughly a million times more radioactive. At first, it might seem a bit weird that these would be so radioactive, but these aren't just any old watch dials. They've all been covered with a paint containing radium, which is an extremely radioactive element. Oh, yes. What's interesting is that if I blast them with UV light, they fluoresce green, mm -hmm. but this has nothing to do with radiation. It's actually just from something called a phosphor, and this one's made from zinc sulfide. Yeah, you don't have to have it be radioactive to do that. <laughs> this is the same oh, zinc that's cool. sulfide that's commonly used to make glow toys, but when it's mixed with radium, it's able don't to glow on its own glow for toys. years without ever having to charge it up. These were all made in the early or mid-1900s, before they cared about how dangerous it was. Interestingly enough, they did know how dangerous it was, they just didn't care. Unfortunately though, over all this time, a lot of the zinc sulfide has degraded, and they're not able to glow on their own anymore. However, they're still extremely radioactive, and they have to be handled really carefully. Glad to use gloves.